to make this functional to the user. Go to btn send file. If transfer client equals null, return using open file dialog o equals new open file dialog o dot filter equals all files o dot multi select equals true if o dot show dialog for dialog result at OK for each string file in O dot file names transfer client dot Q transfer file. So it'll queue all these files to be sent. Now in pause transfer, if transfer client equals null course return for each list view item I in list transfers dot selected items transfer Q Q equals transfer Q I dot tag Q dot client dot pause transfer Q Stop transfer is basically the same thing, so you can just copy that. I'm just going to add a couple of more things. So instead of calling pause transfer, we'll just, cause, we'll just call stop transfer. And I dot remove. And just set progress overall value to zero. And in open directory, using folder browser dialog fb equals new folder browser dialog if fb dot show dialog equals dialog result dot ok output folder equals fb dot selected path if transfer client not equal to null then set the output path and also show to the user that the path has been changed now head to btn clear complete and for each list view item I in list transfers that items transfer Q Q equals transfer Q I dot tag if Q dot progress equals 100 or Q is Q is not running then I dot remove Now let's make a override. Let's override one of our form uh, overloads. Public override on form closing. Override one of the virtual methods. And call D register events. Now let's head back to transfer client. Go to receive callback. And now we can uncomment process. And also call run again. And in catch, call close. A couple of things I forgot. Go to transfer client. and hit the pause transfer 
and get rid of this. And just call q.pause. And go to get overall progress. And now try catch. And the catch just set overall progress to zero. One more thing before we test. Go to deregister events and add if transfer client equals null return. Okay, now that we have put in the final piece of the puzzle, let's try this out. If you're using the Express Edition and you can't debug multiple instances at the same time, just go to the your actual um, bin folder and run that twice, run the exe twice. And success. Our system works. All right, Let's stretch out. Now this thing is finally complete. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I will see you next time. Later. I have a challenge. My challenge to all of you, and it's quite a simple one actually, is to have this. To have that happen when the transfer is paused. If you get stuck, and you need some advice, you can ask me. But I'm not going to tell you how to actually do it exactly. Just a little to-do challenge that I might add in future videos. Well, have at it. See if you can figure it out.